This video is brought to you by Cybersalt's Joomla training cohort. Learn to do Joomla the way Cybersalt does Joomla. And MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Get a free site audit at MySites.Guru. It was only till recently that menus became much less of a mystery for me in Joomla. And so hopefully this helps. Imagine your website is like a restaurant. And in your restaurant, there's actually a menu that tells people what they can get from your restaurant. But for them to see that menu, you need to put it in a bunch of different positions. Maybe you'll put it in their hands. Maybe you'll put it on their table. Maybe you'll put it in a board in front of the restaurant. With that picture in mind, let's take a look at what was for me the mystery of menus in Joomla. All right, so I have a very plain Joomla install here. And I've created just a very plain article here that has a bunch of junk text in there. Uh, first, what we're going to do is, all right, we've got this site. That's our restaurant. Let's create a menu that shows what is offered. Now, we already have a main menu here, but let's, let's make our own menu. To do that, we're going to go in the back end of the site. We're going to go to menus. And we're just going to go manage menus. All right, now we're going to make a new menu. Let's call this second menu. Now, you need a unique name for this, and you know, it really doesn't matter what you put in here, something that makes sense to you, but I'm gonna put second menu. And let's do the same thing for description. That's really all you need to do. Permissions, we won't worry about, that's for the user access control list. But there we go, we have made our menu. Now that we've made the menu, it has no items on it. So it's like a blank piece of paper. How are the customers going to know what they can ask for? Well, let's put an item on that menu. To do that, we'll go down to, well, here's the second menu. We can go and hit plus to create a menu item. Let's just create an article, a link to an article. All right. And so the menu type is going to be articles and a single article. We can make a menu that points to any of these other components in Joomla. We'll go to a single article. Now we just have to pick what that article is. An article, that's what its title is. All right, we'll click that and we're going to go save and close. Notice it belongs to the second menu. We're not gonna worry about parent items. There are no parent items to add to, just, just it's on the second menu. We'll save and close. Now when we go to our site and refresh, that menu is nowhere to be found because you've got the restaurant and you've got the menu, you've got something that tells people what they can get, but you haven't put it anywhere. And to put that menu somewhere, we're going to do it with module positions. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a template and then how you could even put a, a menu anywhere that you want it by putting a module position somewhere. All right, so here we have, look at this main menu and login form. Why don't we go into the back end here? We'll go to system and we'll go to site modules. Oh look, we've got uh, breadcrumbs and sidebar right are the module positions here. But let's do something even fancier. Let's go here and see all the module positions for this template. To do that, we're gonna put question mark TP equals one. That's the trick, toilet paper equals one. Hit enter, nothing shows up because we have to turn that on. Let's go to system, site template styles, And then we're going to go to options. We're going to enable preview module positions and save. Now we'll see somewhere fun that we can place this menu. Ah, oh, here we go. Why don't we place it in the top B position? We have a module position top B. Great. Now let's just uh, skip back out of that, get rid of that code. So now we'll go back to system and to site modules, and we're going to create a module and connect the menu we just made to it. We'll go new. Look, I'm already filtering for menu here. When you go in here, you won't see, you'll see them all, but let's, let's make a new menu type. Now, this is the core one in Joomla. I like to use max menu CK, so that would be uh, probably show up because it has menu in it. Maybe you're using other extensions or modules that do different things for menus. That's the type that you would create, but we're gonna create a plain one here, menu. Now, this module, we'll just call it second menu as well, but 
and look at here, we have to tell this module which menu it's going to display. Now we have a choice here. We can say, hey, show the main menu. We could then use, we could then show the main menu on the site in a different module position, but we're going to say the second menu. And our position to put it in, we're going to do was, I think it was top B, wasn't it? So we'll select it top B. So now we've got a restaurant, we've got a menu, and now we're going to say, hey, that menu that we have, put it in this position. And watch, we'll save this go here we'll go home and look there is the second menu and our menu item and when we click on that it does what we want it goes to this article so you've got a restaurant you've got a menu and you've got a position to put it and you put in that position through a module now what gets really crazy is then you could basically put a menu anywhere that you can put a module now, Regular Labs has a modules anywhere, which is sort of like a hyped up version of putting a module anywhere, but there's a core method in Joomla as well. So let's just take a look at that core method. Let's go back to here and close. And now we're going to go to the article that I've created, an article. See all this junk text here or, or random text? Well, it's not random. I typed it out and pasted it over and over again. Let's make some space put our cursor in the middle, and now I'm going to go to this button, CMS content. I'm going to go module, which inserts a module in this page. Which module do we want to put in that page? I'm going to put the second menu module, or maybe I want to put a module position. Second menu, but there, load module ID 110. That's the ID of the module that we created for the second menu. Now when we go save, we can go back to the article and go refresh and look, we've got this second menu menu link or item up here, but we also have that menu here. So the mystery of menus in Joomla is you've got a site, you create a menu, you put items on that menu, and then you put that menu wherever the positions are that you want on your site, whether in a template or in an article. Subscribe for more videos till the next time. Enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.